<laughs> hey, Tara, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. Weird. So I have I have my, my friends with me. There's a miracle sleep in. Mm. Dan. Hi, Dan. And if you notice, Miracle's face is kind of in Dan's bourbon, which might be why she's sleeping. <laughs> also, she's just old. Tara, are you guys getting a cat drunk? You know, I, I don't know what happens when I'm not home. All I gave her today was her nose drops. She has a cold. She has to get drops in her nose and her ears. She's a special letters. needs kitty. I'm going to get letters. So I noticed you were wearing okay. green. I'm wearing green Cause... because tomorrow is the day of my people. Yes, it is the we are the, the night before St. Patrick's Twas Day. Twas the night before St. Patrick's Day and all through the... Now, people uh, at home will be like, well, Nash, why aren't you wearing green? Yeah. And I'd like to show them right now. Well, gee, guys, I have this lovely green, green sweater I could be wearing, except... Oh, right. You kind of can't wear green, huh? I can't because, um... Shit gets a little weird, you'll notice. Yeah. Oh, well. You could so. be just a floating head. You could be nearly headless Nash. <laughs> nearly headless? Why do they call you nearly headless? No, I don't. Because my green screen sucks. Um. So just know I have a green thing. I'll tie it around okay. my waist or something. You're Hugging a green thing. Right. It's 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 tied around. I'm I'm wearing it like you know a '90s grunge sort of thing going on. Oh, yeah. You know, that's got to come back at some point, right? It is back. Have you been shopping recently? <laughs> Who are going you into H and M. Going into H and M these days is pretty much like walking into an original series 90210 episode. It's all fucking spandex crop tops and little spandex video girl dresses and like baggy pants with ugly patterns. And there's legit like Ralph Lauren's denim line legit did like three flannel baby doll dresses this fall. It's really scary out there, man. Brown lipstick is coming back. I don't Ralph Lauren's denim line. Yeah. They sell it at Macy's. Of it's called so. Ralph Lauren Denim Supply. Wow. It's like his juniors line, like his trendy juniors line. Well, obviously, I'm I'm the target audience. Obviously, obviously, you're a sixteen year old girl. Exactly. I hide it well. Makeup doesn't. I don't wonders. think I don't think we have this to cover tonight. But did you hear that Ireland like accidentally legalized? Well, no, they didn't. Oh, classification of drugs. And not only did they legalize, like, ecstasy and shrooms and shit. And meth. They also accidentally made heterosexual marriage illegal. That I hadn't heard about. That's fun. In the same round of things, they made straight marriage illegal. Oh. How did that? How do you completely screw up your government to that degree? <laughs> But We're yeah, making I, I shit. Actually, I like I like source check that with my cousin Alan. I was like, I sent him the link and I was like, is this legit? And he's like, yeah. And actually fucking drug pop up shops are already happening. <laughs> he's like, there are drug pop up shops in Dublin. He's like, it's going to be a bad week. Well, oh good luck. Let me know you're OK. We'll have to wait me, for the story. Let me just give the audience a few tips for tomorrow. Go ahead. Shamrock, three pedals, not four. Four petals is a four-leaf clover. It's lucky, not particularly Irish. Shamrock looks like this. Hmm. Yes, I do just happen to have an Irish china dish in front of me. Because that's how I roll. Um, patties. If you're going to say Patties Day instead of St. Patrick's Day, D's not T's. It's short for Padraig, which is the Irish Gaelic of Patrick. D's not T's. Patty's a girl's name. Uh, nobody drinks green beer. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. And don't wear orange. It's so offensive. I I got a request tonight to play Boys of the Old Brigade. 
Don't fucking wear orange. That's pretty much like wearing a Confederate flag on Martin Luther King Day. Don't be that asshole. I saw that request and was like, oh, look, great big can of worms. Let's yeah. not open that one. Set that one over there, shall we? Oh, uh, well, make me proud out there, people. Don't puke in the street. But of course, we'll have to see what the aftermath brings us next week. This week, we have an entirely different assortment. Yeah. We have wonderful things tonight, Tara. Wonderful, magical things. Sometimes doing this, I get a story. My audience, they know me. And I get a story that makes me so happy. And our very first one this week. We didn't do the intro. No, I know. I'm wait I'm I'm trying to do that and I played the wrong one. Um, because I am a dumb. Uh, let's try that again. Can we play the right one? Play the right... There we go. Each week, Catherine and the Radio Dead Air audience go out worldwide in webs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And my people, my people, you know me. And you make... This this first story you you saw this one too and the first thing you thought what well, you sent it to me immediately Tara you saw this this link and you're like yep Nash show that shit to him I knew it was for you there are times in life when you're just like I can fuck with someone in the most esoteric way possible so I'm gonna do it. And this guy, did you ever know that you were my hero? You're everything, Suddenly you want a pilot's license. You're everything I wish I could be. Bored pilot draws penis on flight radar with private plane. And ladies and gentlemen, in all its glory, there it is. That is a sky that dick. Is, that is pretty bored. Aviation fans who on Thursday night happened to check Flight Radar 24, the popular site that gives users the ability to track flight paths of planes around the world, might have noticed an odd pattern that a private plane made above Florida. Of course. Florida. Florida and dicks go together like peanut butter and jelly. I, I love the, the, the here in the article. If you haven't noticed it just yet... It greatly resembles a penis. If you haven't noticed it just yet, you're really sheltered. That's a penis! Like, I'm pretty sure everybody in the world has seen a penis at some point in their life. Like, I don't care... I don't care what your sexuality is. I don't care what your gender is. At some point... In some context, you've seen a penis. And if you can't tell that that's penis, you either need to get your eyes checked and get new glasses. Or you just are lacking some life experience, I guess. I don't know. Your school didn't have comprehensive sex ed. So America, then. Oh. America. So, I mean, I just... This guy has his own plane. It costs him his own money in fuel and the 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 tracking time and all the shit he has to do to get the fucker up in the air. It's not How cheap. You, these are the things I, I'm always sort of really impressed by. Like the guys that did the crop circles. Like, how do you make something that big and know what it's going to look like? Like, I can't even conceive of knowing know how either. to fly in a penis pattern. <laughs> did it one side of the shaft would be crooked and the whole thing would go like this and it would look like the most diseased penis ever so i'm really impressed with his craftsmanship i am too that's not just something you just randomly uh you know what just gonna suddenly no, fly like planning and work i he said like graph paper and you know like a ruler and he was plotting that shit out is okay it it's time 
you know, what's that thing that you had to do to do angles and geometry? What's that thing called? Uh, it's not a circle. It's a protractor. protractor. Yeah. Thank you. Fucker had a protractor out. Boyfriend's smart at things. <laughs> He's like one of those, they all said I was crazy when I said I'd fly out of penis. Who's crazy now? I just want to tell my kids never to give up on your dreams. <laughs> I like that we automatically make him, both make him Southern. <laughs> oh, let's move on to something else. We have had more than one incident on this show of what could only be described as animal terrorism. Do Hemingway you, bear? Hemingway, well, do you remember those squirrels that got into that government was facility? Hemingway bear or Hemingway boar? I don't no, even remember. It was, no, we had both. We had a drunk boar and a drunk bear. The bear was drinking jet fuel. Right. So, oh, we had the drunk bears in Russia. Yeah. And then Hemingway Pig. And, and we had the, the squirrels who got in that facility and chewed through the power lines and fucked everything up. And the radioactive monkeys. The radioactive monkeys. Well, now we have one raccoon. I, I want you to keep in mind, this was all caused by a single raccoon. This is some rocket raccoon shit right here. Um, And it is Florida again. Who'd have thunk it? Raccoon causes sewage spill in St. Augustine. The city of St. Augustine is monitoring the San Sebastian River after a sewage spill this weekend. A power outage at a city utility station that sent thousands of gallons of untreated sewage flowing into the river. The raccoon shorted out power to a sewer lift station, but uh, city crews were not aware of it until 8 a.m. the next morning. They restored power, but not before an estimated 60,000 gallons of sewage flowed into the San Sebastian. I'm going to try to get this picture bigger here. So you can just, that, that black, no, that brown, bigger. that brown stuff, that brown, that brown shit is shit. Okay. You can kind of see a, the blacker stuff. That's the water and that big brown cloud. That's shit. <laughs> so don't go surfing one raccoon and you cannot tell me that that is some racket rocket raccoon shit that is you probably just chewed through a wire or something squirrels do that all the time no 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 you can't tell me he ran a fucking bird managed to shut down the large hadron collider by just happening in what I swear to you is an act of God. Just happened to drop a chunk of bread exactly into a pipe that shut the whole fucking thing down. If that's not God going humans, do not do this thing. I don't know what it is. No, that is organized animal resistance. No. That is him going humans, do not this, do this thing. This is eco-terrorism. That yeah. raccoon knew the fuck what the fuck. He was like, okay, okay, you're gonna fuck up my home? You're gonna fuck up my home? Fine. I'm gonna shit in your river a lot. Maybe they are maybe the animals are rising. They're they are smarter than we grew up. Raccoons are crazy disturbingly smart. Yeah, raccoons are pretty intelligent. Although they're actually kind of stupid too. Have you ever read Where the Red Fern Grows? I don't think so. Okay, if you ever read that, uh, the, if if you had read it, you would be hating me right now for making you think of of how much you cried at the end of that one. But there's a trick. Sure, water shut down. That's different. Bunnies are dumb as shit. There's a trick for catching raccoons, and apparently this works. You get like a little piece of tin foil, okay, and you put it in a hole in a log, and then you put nails along the side of the log, not to pierce through it, but to, to make it where it can't get its hand back out. What the raccoon will do, he'll reach into the hole, he'll grab the tinfoil, and suddenly the hole's too big for him to pull his hand back out, but the little bastard just will not let the tinfoil go. It could easily get loose if it just let its hand go and got loose, but it won't let go. So you can just and walk what right do up. You do when you've trapped a raccoon that is now frustrated and angry and still has three free limbs. Well, you hit it in the head with a stick. That's what you do. 
You get a, you're gonna get scratched to shit. You try to pick him up. You just go over there with a stick. You're like, boom! I caught a raccoon. So they are very smart, and they're also really kind of stupid. But you know, why would you want to catch a raccoon? What do you do with it? Well, you skin it. Oh. You, it's what? Just... You said you make a coat. Yeah, um. or you make a hat. A little, that's that's what the raccoon tail. That's what they used to do, you know. Or Cyclone Joker says, "Bag it and sell it in a supermarket." Ah, but that. they're cute. <laughs> yes, I've heard of coonskin caps. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not a fucking redneck. <laughs> I grew up above the Mason Dixon here in civilization. <laughs> Dan is back sorry behind you, that. just laughing his ass off. I'm going to pay for that later, I'm sure. <laughs> so, speaking of stupid, um... Hey! Not that. I was talking about raccoons being okay. stupid. Okay. Um, humans are not much better. And... If they were, we wouldn't have a job. You, you've heard about all these people who try to fake Bigfoot sightings. You supposedly fake a Bigfoot sighting, take a picture, get money, or or you make a show, the hunt for Bigfoot, out of it. And yeah, my nephew used to watch that show, and then he would explain to me that it wasn't real. <laughs> Bigfoot's not real, Aunt Tara. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, thank you. I'm worried. Well, in this instance, um, someone's not really working very hard at it. Naked man pretending to be Bigfoot gets 10 years for attacking Hunter in the woods. Now, we're off to a bad start. When you're pretending to be Bigfoot and your disguise is you're naked. That depends how hairy he is. Yeah. You got him. Maybe he was Italian. Oh, I'm going to get letters. God damn it, Tara. I was married to an Italian for 10 years. I'm allowed to say that. You're just attempting to piss off the whole world at getting the whole one day. The, there's going to be a war, and it's going to be everybody against me. When Why Hunt, would it be against you? Why wouldn't it be against me? Because I you pushed pissed the, off the king of Thailand. You have him to deal with. I'll deal with everybody else. You just deal with the king of Thailand. When avid hunter Jeff McDonald donned his hunting attire and headed out to spend some time in nature, looking for deer in the woods near his Manning home. The last thing he expected was to be attacked by a naked man claiming to be Bigfoot. <clears throat> As he told reporters, I thought, man, that is really crazy for someone to be up here at deer season wearing basically buckskin colored clothes. I was armed with a high powered rifle. I thought he's probably not going to do anything. When the strange looking man approached McDonald. He asked him who he was. The man responded by saying his name was Linus Norgren and added that, quote, he was a Sasquatch. From a family of Sasquatches. McDonald wanted to keep things calm with Norgren, saying to him, quote, I attempted to talk to him like it was someone with clothes on. Which is probably a really smart... Which is funny, but they tell you when you're nervous about making a speech to picture everybody with their clothes off. <laughs> so it's funny that he did that backwards. He probably would have been less nervous. Oh, really? You're a Sasquatch from a family of Sasquatches. That's, That's really interesting. Are you from the Westchester Sasquatches? <laughs> Where do you summer? However, some seconds later, according to McDonald, the naked man approached him and hit him in the head with a rock. Sent him to the ground unconscious. The next thing you remember is waking up with Norgren on top of him, strangling him while grunting and growling. McDonald was able to free himself from the situation with considerable effort as he asked Norgren, why are you trying to kill me? Which would not be the first thing I'd be saying. Probably the word motherfucker would be involved. To be fair, <clears throat> when a naked man who claims to be a Sasquatch knocks you the fuck out, him strangling you is probably your best case scenario for how you wake up. <laughs> like if you're neither tied to a spit nor being sodomized... <laughs> <laughs> the response he replied Sasquatch kills the hunter 
I and, thought Sasquatch pretty much just wanted to be left the fuck alone. Yeah, you know, I'm like, I, I, I don't, my, my memories of Sasquatch are, are Harry and the Hendersons. Remember that movie? That was a sweet movie. It will surprise no one to hear that I never saw that movie. It's, it's got John Lithgow and it's cute. I know the premise. And it's, it's, it's a charming little movie and it's family friendly and Harry's all, he's, he's happy and he's nice. And I taught him how to sit. It's, a, it's, a, I don't think of Sasquatch kills the hunter. I'm like, you, I just feel like mostly Bigfoot just wants to be left the fuck alone. Yeah. And I think, you know, Bigfoot might, might be interested in some pants at this point, maybe. Maybe we put on some pants before we kill any more hunters today. <laughs> oh, so moving that's, on. That's some good fucking mushrooms in those woods. Yeah, moving from one type of camouflage to another. Um, you know, I the guy in the next story. He had an idea, and, you know, it seemed like a good idea at the time, I'm sure. However, there was... I think a... you could say that about most of the stories we cover. Yeah, could, couldn't we? There, there was a decided lack of thinking this one through. I see where he went! Execution somewhat lacking! Suspect allegedly spray painted his face to hide from police is arrested. Suspected car thief allegedly used spray paint on his face in an effort to hide from officers. Jose Espinoza, 23, initially fred fled from law enforcement personnel after being caught with a stolen vehicle on Saturday night. He later ran a second time, but this time authorities say he had spray painted his face black to camouflage himself. The next line is gold. Quote. She's having a coughing fit. Can you hear her? Yes. She, <laughs> she can't believe this shit either. No, she has little coughing fits. Can you hear her? Yes. This is our little special needs baby. She also really loves attention, so she might have just figured out there's a camera on her. Yeah. Oh, let me, let me earn their pity. Quote the police, the camouflage was ineffective. <laughs> this is the part where he starts to burp her. <laughs> now, so, had... first of all, that's not washing off. Yeah. That's not supposed to go on your face. That's not safe. Secondly. Second, that's kind of really racist. Yeah, unless you're trying to disguise yourself as Al Jolson. Yeah. You fail. You, you're, you know, it's like, wait, is that the guy? No. No, he's from an old timey no, vaudeville. No, his head is the same color as his body. Yeah, that's a different guy. He only did his head. Yeah, that's the other thing. Was he like, you know, trying to like blend Was it? Was he trying to describe himself as disguise himself as the big guy? <laughs> They're With the like shiny black round head. They're not looking for a headless guy. Oh, there you go. If I spray paint my head black and stand real still in a shadow. Or They'll think I'm headless, and they'll be really scared. Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, this was not a good plan. No. No, she doesn't cough because of hairballs. She coughs just because she coughs. She has some respiratory issues. I just, and he's, that is the face of regret. Let's, let's make that bigger there. Just look at That's him. It's really not safe to put on your face. Like, you're no. not even really supposed to get it on your skin. No. However, that's also, keep in mind, the fumes from spray paint are not good for you. And those were all in his breathing area. And his eye, you know how much your eyes absorb? Ooh. 
Ow! Oh God! You're making skin around your eyes. I know Ow. this because I went to Foodie in the street. Is some of the warm is some of the warmest spots on your body. It's also some of the thinnest skin on your body. So it absorbs the things on it really well, which is why you have to be careful what you use around your eyes cosmetically. You're, ma you're making my contacts itch, man. Jesus. And like he spray. Oh my God. Well, we have more bad ideas. This one comes from Australia. There is no category this falls into other than, hey, y'all, watch this. At I, some point, we need to put together a comprehensive list of our categories. We should probably write a book. We should. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, trust me, I've got like over a hundred hours of episodes to go through for, to pull on, so. Man 18 agreed to be set alight at party in Coleroy Plateau. Now, by set alight, do you think he means, you know, get lit up? No. No. Not, not like that. Police are investigating how an 18-year-old sustained severe burns at a party in Coleroy Plateau. Police were told the man was with friends at a party when he agree allegedly agreed to be set on fire with aerosols and flammable liquid. Oh police my god. Police say the man was taken to the Royal North Shore Hospital where he was treated for superficial but excessive burns to his back. So, he didn't get badly hurt, but Jesus, he could have been. Why would you do this? Officers arrested an 18-year-old man at the scene who was taken into DY uh, police station for questioning. Investigations are continuing. So, you're at a party, and someone walks up to you and says, Hey, you know what would be awesome? I've got this lighter fluid and WD-40. Why don't you let me douse you with it and set you on fire? What do you say? Okay. Didn't you used to play this game with your cousin? <laughs> no, that was something else entirely. The He-Man figurine that shot water? Yeah, that was not a game so much as, you know, childhood Attempted conversation. Murder. Yeah, yeah. That that was scarring was what that was. It... it okay. Goofy hair Ozzy. I... I burned myself in a London on that. No. No. Oh, no. No. And the, that's the thing. You don't have to do stupid shit in Australia. Everything there is already trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, so you, you don't need to help. It's Just, an entire ecosystem basically designed around fuck you. If you really want some scary... If you're suicidal in Australia, just go outside. Yeah, just walk like a mile any direction. Something will get you eventually. Hey, baby. Hi, hey, come here. So, so you, someone, it, it, what, how, how drunk? At what point in drinking does this become a good idea? How many shots along into the night is setting yourself on fire? When does that become fun? <laughs> I don't know. I've never had that many shots. I've thought about setting other people on fire. Yeah, I could see that one. I get that guy's point of view. I've I fully convinced the only reason I don't that that I am not pyrokinetic is because God knows exactly what I would do with it. Also, I don't think anybody's pyrokinetic for real. Are you sure? I feel like we would have heard about it by now. If that was a thing. Okay. Well, I like my theory better. Oh, okay. But, yeah, just... I'm amazed. I'm amazed this guy is okay. I know. But fuck's sake. Don't do this. Don't do that. That's not a fun party game. Well... Our last one tonight is, uh, we, we hit two spots on the bingo map. Um, it's Walmart. Woohoo! And it's meth. How the f 
Why else would you go to Walmart? How the fuck? This needs to be in the employee handbook at this point. How to deal with a mobile meth lab. Meth lab discovered at Walmart restroom in Indiana. A restroom at a Walmart in eastern Indiana has been closed indefinitely after an employee discovered a working meth lab inside. State police say a Walmart employee alerted police after seeing a man he described as suspicious enter the restroom about 11.30 p.m. Thursday with a backpack and leave without it. Star Press reports that members of the state police meth suppression team removed the dangerous chemicals. The fact that we have to have a specialized group to deal with meth Delaware County Health Department inspectors closed the restroom and a nearby woman's restroom until they could be deca decontaminated by a professional cleaning company. State police say people who make meth are leaving the deadly explosive chemicals in public places and return later to get the finished product rather than risk explosions and contaminations at their own homes. So... They set up their little mobile meth lab and then they just leave it in a public place so that if it blows up, it kills a bunch of other people. Yeah. That's some bullshit. Imagine, you know, you have your kid. He's got to go to the bathroom. You walk him in. Boom! Meth lab exploded. <sighs> You're a dick, dude. Yeah, you are. I mean, Jesus. That's... What else do you do? Do you just, like, leave radioactive materials lying around, like, a preschool, maybe? Yeah, just leave some live plutonium. No. Do you know? Do you some make bags of glass. Do, do, you, do you make cookies for the bake sale with some anthrax lying around while you're doing yeah. it? Do you just... Anthrax cookies are delicious. Mother fucker. I hope they find this fucker. I hope, find it, because this guy, the problem is, the some bitch gonna do it again. Yeah. Right now, there's some guy out there, and his, his primary concern is, oh, man, they took my meth. That was my, that was like my, my, my supply for a month. Okay, Dave. Dave the whole Scott. meth thing. Everything about meth mystifies and confuses D.A. Scott Jr. Leftover meth materials. Do they call those methdovers? <laughs> no, they call those cancer. Yeah. Because that shit is, is leftover. That, man, that, the, the, the shit that goes into that stuff. Yeah, the, everything about <laughs> meth confuses me. The high doesn't seem that great. No. Nope. It makes you do stupid, crazy shit. Yep. Making it could kill you. Your teeth. It fucks up your face and your teeth. Cancer. There's nothing I understand about this drug. I, As far as I can tell, there's no upside. You know, back in the day, moonshine, the worst that could happen is you'd go blind. You can go blind from moonshine? Yeah. Why? If they... The way they used to make moonshine was a lot of the time it, for a still, they would run it through a car radiator. <gasps> and why? Because it was cheap. It was easy and it was readily available. And it, as the liquid would go through the radiator, no matter how well you cleaned it, it would pick up some of the heavy metals like lead and shit that would flake off in the tubing and... Badly prepared meth, uh, bad, not badly, prepared, badly prepared moonshine would make you go blind. That's, that's just, that's the worst that could happen. With meth, you could explode. And then tumors. Yeah. If you survive the explosion, then comes the cancer. That was kind of the irony about Breaking Bad. Is he got into meth because he had cancer. <laughs> Which yeah. I guess at that point... You know, you saw him in the in the decontamination. He would always wear that heavy decontamination suit and he, the, the like, breathing. You already got cancer. You got the cancer, dude. Uh, so, yeah. That, yeah. that, that. She has, fuck this guy. 
Don't do this. You are an asshole. If you Just are stop making meth. Yeah, there are plenty of other drugs that I promise you more fun, less explosions and cancer, yeah. considerably cheaper. Well, isn't that one of the big draws of meth that it's cheap? You know what? It's not fucking cheap. Weed is cheap as fuck. Is weed cheap, really? They call it weed for a reason. <laughs> you find the ground, you put the weed in the ground, you leave it alone for a while, you come back, you get high. True. It's this weed. The first thing we learned this week, if the drug has the potential to make you the fuck explode. You don't do that drug. It's not a, it's not a fun drug. That's why are you doing that? It's we we have I mean, even beer. Beer is also you take the barley and the hops and you put them in the bucket and you leave them and you come back and there's beer. You know what's funny is you're starting to say, you've got you've you've gotten so angry. <laughs> you're starting to sound a little like Bill Cosby. <laughs> You see, what you do is you take the barley in the hot <laughs> barley in the pudding broth. Put it in the zip zop, boop it bop, put it in the bucket and jello pudding pop. To Cosby. I'm Cosby. Oh god. Oh, that's some bad implications there. We here dogs are concerned. We here at Radio Dead Air do not endorse the actions of Mr. Bill Cosby. No, we do not. Do not, <sighs> not drug women, for God's sake. Um We've learned this week that Hey, Can I Set You on Fire is the worst pickup line for many reasons. Mainly because possibly the person saying it might mean it literally. Yeah. That's not what Jim Morrison meant. No. We've learned that while... It might have been. He did a lot of drugs. A lot. Oh, yeah. He did a lot of the weird ones. Yeah. The, he's not exactly a role model. No. We, uh, we learned that camouflage has its place, and it normally isn't in a cam spray paint. Yeah, that's not even good camouflage. We learned that if you're, if you're able to have a conversation with someone, chances are you are not a Sasquatch. Fair hey, bet. don't be racist against Sasquatches. There could be Sasquatch fucking Shakespeare scholars, for all you know. You think you're Sasquatch? You say one for a while, actually, now that I think about it. All right, you, you think that there's a Sasquatch right now with a laptop up in northwest Oregon going, Maybe. Hey, you motherfucker. Maybe. You think there's... <sighs> okay, you think it's... All right, you think it's implausible that in northwest Oregon... There would be a large, dirty, hairy person <laughs> on the internet. Great. We need just a map of places we pissed <laughs> off. There you go. There's Oregon. Add that one. Who's next? There's the I'm South. The Pacific Northwest has a lot of hippies. Let's see this week. We did the South. We did Oregon. We did Italy. We're just going down the line. Um... We've learned you should fear and respect raccoons because they You might want your prosthetic leg. <laughs> Eco-fucking-terrorism, man. The animals are rising. Cats are already growing thumbs. Yeah. It's the hexad what is it, hexadactyl or poly... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, something like that. And we've learned... Hopefully. That's not exactly an apex predator, so I think we're safe, but. And we've learned while lots of horrible things have gone on in the world this week and it can depress you and make you sad, somewhere a man in a plane with a dream <laughs> drew a dick in the sky just. It's going to be a Disney movie scarring Kevin Costner <laughs> next year. <laughs> or maybe that'll be the sequel to Planes. Uh, 
Live in the dream, man. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. People don't embarrass me. No orange clothes, no green beer. Well. Clover. And we'll see them embarrass you on next week's show. Yeah.